Hello, I'm back with another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about understanding factors. I'm using the Envision 4th grade math book, Envision. And this is topic 7, lesson 1. The subject is understand factors. The objective or the I can statement says I can find the factor pairs of a whole number. So we're going to be working on finding factor pairs. A factor pair, um, that is two factors that give you a product. Okay? So we're going to look at factor pairs that give you a product. I'm going to look at page 263. The independent practice on page 263. And this can be found in the student edition as well as in the teacher's edition. Number nine, page 263, number nine. They want to know the factor pairs of five. So the question is, what two numbers can I multiply together to give me five? So you have to know your five facts. And the rule of thumb is to just start with one because every number can be multiplied by one and that number to give you itself or that number. So one times five is five. So the factor pairs for five or the factor pair is one and five. So one and five will give you five which means one times five equals five. The next number, number 10, problem number 10, they're asking you the factor of pairs for 25. I always start with one and the number. So we know that one and five, or one and 25, that's a factor of pair for 25, one and 25. Then I think about, well, what other two numbers can I multiply together to give me 25? Since 25 ends in a 5, that lets me know that 5 times something is 25. 5 times 5 is 25, so the next factor pair will be 5 and 5. 5 and 5. So the factor pairs for 25 are 1 and 25, 5 and 5. Let's look at number 11. Factor pairs for 8. I'm always going to start with 1. So 1 and 8, or 1 times 8 will give me 8. Since 8 is an even number, I know that 2 times something is 8. 2 times 4 equals 8. So a factor pair for eight will be two and four. Number 12 is asking me, well, what are the factor pairs of 36? I'm always gonna start with one and 36. Since 36 is an even number, I know that two times something is 36. So I could use division. I could divide 36 by two to get my quotient. Or I can think about my two's facts and I can count up. And then I'll see that two and 18 are pairs for 36 because two times 18 will give me 36. Also, 3 and 12, because 3 times 12 is 36. And then I'm going to keep going up. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I know that 4 times something is 36 because I know my 4 facts. I know that 4 and 9. 4 and 9 will give me a factor pair for 36. I know that five times nothing is 36 because 36 doesn't end in um, a five or zero. So my next number I will try is six. I know that 
six times six is 36. So six and six will be the next factor pair for 36. Okay, so I noticed that 36 has a lot of factor pairs. One and 36, two and 18, three and 12, four and nine, and six and six. So we just did problems nine through 12 together. On your own, you can finish the rest of those problems with finding factor pairs of um, the numbers.